Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the 360 Daily Show. I'm your host, Ateze Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Yemi Alade releases her sixth album, Rebel Queen. Bonner Boy sported with Dua Lipa Sunny Hill Festival. Lady Gaga speaks after Olympic ceremony performance, plagued by sound issues and dancer falling off stage. Nike launches Electric Park collection of 55 shoes for the Olympics. And on our trending segment, Yemi Alade releases her sixth album, Rebel Queen. Nigerian international music icon Yemi Alade has released her highly anticipated new album, Rebel Queen. Yemi Alade is one of Africa's most famous musicians whose music continues to captivate listeners and showcase her African heritage. The album title, Rebel Queen, is Yemi Alade's sixth album and it reflects her boundless, unapologetic love for her African heritage. On the album, the award-winning star delivered her signature blend of vibrant Afropop, dancehall, ama piano, lingala, Afrobeats, reggae, and R&B, creating a rich tapestry of sounds that will resonate with music lovers worldwide. Yemi Alade's journey to Rebel Queen is a testament to her originality, bold spirit, and global domination. And on our sported segment, Bonner Boy sported with Dua Lipa at the Sunny Hill Festival. A video of Bonner Boy and Dua Lipa meeting causes a buzz online. The video clip which shows the Albanian singer posing for pictures with Afrobeat artist Bonner Boy has been making its round on social media. The pair met backstage at this year's edition of the Sunny Hill Festival. The festival took place in Kosovo and both artists performed their hit songs to thousands of fans. Backstage, the last last artist was dressed in a grey shirt, a baggy denim trousers, a black hat alongside a pair of sunglasses. Dua Lipa looked gorgeous wearing a red fitted mini dress, a pair of brown boots and a black shoulder bag. And on to our editorial segment, Lady Gaga speaks after Olympic ceremony performance plagued by sound issues and dancer falling off stage. Lady Gaga was one of the biggest names to perform during Friday's evening's uniquely memorable Olympics opening ceremony in Paris. Gaga took to a specially built stage on the bank of the River Seine to give a performance inspired by French cabaret. She sang Montreux Plum, a well-known French circus song. The poker face singer was the first musical act of the night and appeared to experience some sound issues that fans on social media were quick to note while marrying her performance was she sat down at her piano to sing. And on our new collection, Nike launches electric pack collection of 55 shoes for Olympics. The world's top sports brand always shows up in the biggest moments. Following up on their polarizing winning isn't for everyone marketing campaign, Nike revealed the electric pack collection and features a unique colorway combination for 55 foot style styles. Combining the ostrich animal print introduced by famed designer Tinker Hatfield on the Air Safari in 1987 and Nike performance color Total Orange, the electric pack certainly stands out on foot and according to Nike, is inspired by the brand's storied legacy in the sports moments that take the world's breath away. From basketball to running in sportswear and skateboarding, a plethora of sports categories are represented across the collection. We're bringing sport and culture together on the playing field and creating a new look of sport for the next generation. Complementing the footwear collection, Nike's electric pack colorway will also appear on the brand's new eyewear, the Nike Athena and Nike Zeus sunglasses. And on Spicy or Not, Bianca Sensori steps out in a tiny bikini as Kanye West remains fully dressed at luxurious hotel outing in California. Bianca Sensori almost let it all hang out while out with husband Kanye West on Saturday. The former Yeezy architect was pictured wearing a very small bikini as she and West spent time by the pool at the San Yistro Ranch in Montecito, California. Sensori looked ready for a swim as she rocked a cute updo outside the swanky hotel. Though not pictured, it's been reported that the model wore a pair of heels with the bikini. West kept his look casual as he spotted a white t-shirt and a pair of khaki-colored pants. He finished off his look with some black sunglasses. The change in scenery comes after the couple spent several days at a celebrity hotspot Chateau Marmo in Los Angeles. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye-bye.